What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another mobile gaming video. Today we're going to be talking about Doom's Iron Grip in Age of Origins and how best to perform in this and the benefits of this weekly event. Let's break this down. Alright, so first and foremost, welcome back everybody. Um, let's talk about why is this important. So Doom's Iron Grip is a weekly event. It turns out on every Tuesday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world. It uh, cycles in each and every week and it forms part of sort of two different events that you can compete in that combine to help boost your Titans. You can see Doom's Iron Grip. It's currently got, as time of this recording, nine hours left of the event to be active. But, you know, if you're not here for this one, don't worry, you'll be able to catch it again in a week's time. Now, why is it important? that we actually go ahead and engage in this content whenever you possibly can. Well, predominantly, that is because we are going to be able to earn these power ores. You could get your source spirit DNA. That's your first Titan that you can unlock. And you can get the creature modifier fluid, which in turn will help you unlock the talents of your individual Titans. Now, these ones over here, the modifier fluid can be used against all of your Titans, all two of them. And the source spirit DNA, that only applies to this particular Titan, you know, the actual source spirit Titan. So in order to unlock... For your uh, second titan, the arachnid one, you will have to wait until Thursday slash Friday, depending on where you are in the world, to, in, uh, to engage in the Mother's Doom event, okay? So, not only do you get those rewards, there's also daily ranking rewards for those that compete the best or perform the best in these daily events. You've got 10 attacks that you can make each day. If you maximize your scores in that, you can earn yourself some additional rewards. You can see rank one up here, get some additional stored energy jars. Now these are super, super useful because they help you actually evolve your Titan. And because your Titans contribute quite heavily, quite massively to the overall performance of your army, it is very useful to be able to use these to increase the evolution level of your Titan. It unlocks additional abilities and obviously massively increases the power. And you get a few other, you know, little bits and bobs, some commander XP, you get some power ore crates and you can get a bubble. Now this, obviously it's very, very much top heavy, but even if you are right at the bottom of the contribution for your nation, you're still going to gain a little bit. You're still going to be gaining most of what you would otherwise earn. You know, still getting 10 stored energy jars here just for engaging in this event. So before we go into it, let's have a quick look at your Titan and we'll talk about, you know, how do those actual rewards benefit you? So heading over here, I've <clears throat> playfully named my spirit Titan, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> I've playfully named my spirit Titan Kitty because, uh, well, he's just a cutie, let's be honest. Um, so first and foremost, the evolution. Now you've got the sword spirit, uh, sword spirit DNA over here that you can earn from this event. Like I said, on Thursday and Friday, you'll be able to get it for our second one over here, the Empress Titan. Uh, you'll have to engage on those days for her particular DNA. But on the evolution here, you do have the stored energy jar. Now this is part of the global rewards that you can earn. Obviously, the further you go on, the more that this is going to cost. Currently, I'm at beast tier level 5 for this one, and a little bit higher, I believe, on my Empress over here. Yeah, she's on disaster tier level 1. Now, you can see on this evolution chart down here how these level ups over here actually unlock additional um, talents, essentially, which we'll be able to see when we go over here. You can see the different talents you've got here. You've got Source Energy Strike, for example, Rampart, Halo. So as you actually evolve your Titans, you will unlock different abilities, more powerful abilities that can then be enhanced further through the Creature Modifier Fluid. And that is one of the other rewards that we get from engaging in this event. So pretty important to continually try to invest in this event. If we just go over here and check out our Empress right now, like I said, um, we've beaten the beast tier, so we're now on the disaster tier for her. She's got a little bit more invested into her as far as evolution is concerned. If we check out her talents, you can see I've got an additional two moves that have actually been unlocked for her as a consequence of this. And we can obviously upgrade these abilities even further. Battle skill launches one times into 10 seconds. Increased total attack of all friendly units by 17.4%. Additional attack of biochemical zombies for 8.7% for five seconds. So... As you progress, as you increase the evolution level of your Titan, you do unlock additional abilities, which can then be further enhanced through the uh, evolution jars and through the, um, apologies, the creature modifier fluids. So it's definitely in your interest to try and engage in this at least once a week, hopefully twice a week, so you can involve both of your Titans at a pretty steady clip. 
Um, it's not the only way that you can upgrade your Titans. Obviously, you do have the levels. You've obviously got the uh, the monster meat that you can use here to increase the, the levels of your Titans. That also modifies quite directly their direct stats, their attack, their HP, their defense, etc., etc., which is another side of it. Now, you can also get the various skins for the Titans, and these probably offer you the single source of the biggest upgrade to your Titans, but they do not come necessarily from these weekly events. You can click the source button here. You can see this particular one, the Valkyrie, has um, has its shards dropped from the Brutal Drag Racing. I do have a video on that. Might want to click the link in the top right-hand corner here if you want to check out that video. Um, over here, you also have... Apologies. You have the sort of samurai-themed one here. And that can be done in Duel of Dominance and Triangle War. Haven't quite covered those content yet, but it might well be something that's coming in the future. Now, obviously, it's not just the Empress that can get these additional uh, skins. You can get them for the Source Spirit as well. This one's from Lucky Stolen Treasure. Obviously not active just yet. And you also have the really sick looking Samurai one. That actually does look absolutely sick. Uh, and that's also from Lucky Stolen Treasure. So when those events came around, that is the only way that you can sort of unlock those. I haven't covered them here, but it will be coming soon. So back to Doom's Iron Grip. Let's go and check this out. So here is a high level review of the rewards. Like I said, for each attack on the actual boss, and you can do 10 of them per day, you can earn power ores, spirit so source spirit DNA, and you can earn the creature modifier fluid. Now the, spirits, uh, the source spirit DNA, like I said, goes to the evolution and the creature modifier fluid goes into the talents. Then you can get the additional rewards down here, but it's in your interest to try and climb as high as you possibly can. But honestly, guys, I wouldn't stress too much about it. Just getting the attacks in is the most important thing. So when you click attack, it will find the closest one to you. You can go into attack and then you can select your units. All I would recommend is that you send in as many biomechanical zombies as you possibly can and just go ham with it. So I'm sending them out there, depending on how close the actual Doom Design Grip challenge is, depends on how fast your attack route is. Obviously, this is supplemented by the additional uh, investments into research that you've put for your, um, uh, well, for your traversal speed across the world map, essentially. And then it'll come back. Now, make sure after you've done your attacks that you do take care to heal up your units, because obviously, whenever you're attacking these guys, you want to make sure that you are attacking at full strength. Now, after you've done a successful attack, you will get a battle report within your mail that will talk to you about how much damage you did. You can see over there, I did 3.8 million damage, and then it will show you what rewards you've got. So I got one source spirit DNA and one creature modifier fluid, and it just gives you a quick um, overview of how much power you lost, which of course we will heal up within our um, uh, hospital. So you can click the video just to see how well your combat actually went on. I don't particularly find this entirely useful. You can see, obviously, where all your damage is coming from, but eventually they all do get blown up at about 30 seconds. Lasts a little bit longer than I would expect, truth be told. But the most important thing, guys, is like I said, is when you go into this, is you want to try and make sure you get your 10 attacks per day because that will maximize the number of... Um, uh, the spirit DNA that you're going to be get, the source spirit DNA, as well as the creature modifier fluid, and you're going to need a lot of them if you want to try and max out your titans. So I do recommend that you go in and do your 10 attacks every single day. It doesn't really take a whole lot of time, and you can sort of increase your damage output. We got, what was it, 3.8 last time? So if we were to go over here to war and we were to use uh, an attack bonus, for example, one hour attack bonus, it was 3.4 or 3.8 we got last time. Let's go ahead and send out the exact same army as last time and just see what the difference is in the overall damage output. So you can see there with my original attack, I did 3.8 million with the additional 15% attack boost that we got from that consumable for an hour, we did actually go up to 4.0 million. So it does improve that little bit. What I recommend is you just use the smallest time attack boost that you have in your inventory and then just try and crack out all of your kills as fast as you can. So. Go out there, send out your troops. When they come back, go into the hospital. Make sure you recover all of your units to maximum. You can see I've still got three minutes here. Let's just speed up that recovery. Boom. And then we'll go immediately head right back out to the Doom's Grip event. And we'll send out our units once again. Now you want to do that, like I said, use up all 10 of your instances there. That will maximize the amount of uh, Source Spirit DNA that you get, as well as the Creature Modifier Fluid, so you can upgrade your abilities. 
but you'll also improve your overall ranking within the Doom's Iron Grip event. So if we check out the ranking rewards right now, we should be able to see, and oh, actually that's not where we see it. So you can actually see what your attack bonuses are from the events page going over here. You can see I've got that 15% attack boost. You can click through the buttons here to actually use them. You can purchase additional um, consumables essentially from here. When fighting the Mother of Doom, you've got an attack increase of all troops by 30%, cost a thousand gold. That is a little bit pricey, but let's just see how that actually affects. Before we did 4 million with just that 15%, let's see how much it increases with all of these bonuses. Uh, there's no point in me doing that because that's already active. Again, you can use a troop expansion that's going to increase the total number of troops that you send out, again, which should in theory, increase the amount of damage that we do. So we've just maxed out all of the possible consumables that I have available to me right now. Let's just first and foremost make sure that we are all nice and healed up right now before we push it out for one final one. And we can see then just how well we do overall. So let's push out to the event once again. Like I said, we did 4 million last time. Let's see how much we do when we max out all of the consumables. Whilst we wait for that to come back, like I said, you can go to the Doom Grip Iron event and you can actually see whereabouts you land. So I've done 11.8 million as it currently stands. You can see my rank is currently 318. So when I click on the button here and we check out where we get for 318, we are in this, we're, we're one tier up. Essentially, if we can get into the top 200, we will earn ourselves a couple more rewards. But really, unless you can get to the top 100, where you start gaining the additional stored energy jars, I feel like that is the most important reward that you can get here. It's not really worth it. So let's see how did we perform in that last one with all of the bonuses applied in totality. You can see we've gone up an additional 10% of our total damage, which really isn't too bad. So if I was to do 10 attacks at this top end range right now, based on how many units I've got and how many buffs I actually have available to me, I should be able to do about 44 million points of damage. Now, where that would place me, I doubt it would put me anywhere near the top 50, but potentially maybe in the top 200. So I'm just going to go through, I'm going to do all of my attacks and let's see where we end up. And there we have it, ladies and gentle beans. I have finished all of my attacks, scoring a total of 43 million. I obviously would have had just a little bit further had I used all of the consumables at the start, but it just gives you a good idea of what to expect when you use those consumables and how much of a benefit you think you could get from them. Overall, my rank finished at 225, so not quite enough to break into the top 200, unfortunately, but still quite comfortably within the 200 to 500 bracket, which is is totally fine it gets me one extra stored energy jar provided i don't get kicked out of the top 500 in the next nine hours or so let me know in the comment section down below guys what tips can you advise people to use on when they're doing the doom's iron grip event as well as the mother's doom event that happens on thursday and friday and until the very next video peace out and big love